America's Navy operates continuously around the world to protect America's interests. To do this effectively, sailors need proper training to ensure they can respond to a wide range of situations, from large-scale conflict to maritime security to humanitarian assistance and disaster relief. The Pacific Northwest region is home to the third largest concentration of naval forces, whose operators must carry out certain training requirements before deploying. One of the many assets in this region is a specialized type of aircraft dedicated to one of the most technologically advanced areas of the modern battlefield, electronic warfare. Electronic warfare involves the use of electromagnetic energy. Being able to properly use and control the electromagnetic spectrum is critical to the safety and success of the nation's military forces. The EA-18G Growler aircraft, based at Naval Air Station Whidbey Island, is the Navy's newest electronic warfare aircraft and improves upon a long-standing tradition of the Navy's ability to disrupt an adversary's ability to target and harm U.S. forces. The term electromagnetic energy is energy that is reflected or emitted from objects in the form of electrical and magnetic waves. The electromagnetic spectrum represents the range of all types of electromagnetic energy, whether it's very low energy radio and microwaves, to visible light, or high energy x-rays. Sources of electromagnetic energy are present all around us, from the sun to devices found in our homes, businesses, and public areas. People are regularly exposed to electromagnetic energy, such as from radios, remote controls, cell phones, electronic appliances, cell phone towers, weather radar systems, or even just standing in the sunlight. We all benefit from this energy through improved communication, convenience, safety, and health. When conducting electronic warfare training in the Pacific Northwest, the Navy's use of electromagnetic energy falls between radio and microwave frequencies, similar to common civilian communication and radar systems, such as cell phones, Bluetooth devices, Wi-Fi technology, television news trucks, microwaves, and commercial boat and weather radar systems. This energy is not harmful unless, like most activities, overexposure occurs. The Navy has taken extraordinary precautions to further ensure people and animals are not exposed to electromagnetic signals during operation. When conducting electronic warfare training, aircraft are typically flying at heights over 25,000 feet as they approach the Olympic coast. There is no danger to people, animals, or the environment from the transmission of electronic signals during training. Being able to use and control the electromagnetic spectrum is critical for the safety and success of the nation's military forces. The Growler aircraft may give our military a technological edge, but mastering the use of it depends on the skill levels of the aviators. The best way to ensure these skills are mastered is to enhance training with existing training ranges in the Pacific Northwest to ensure Navy personnel are properly prepared before deployment.